Hey, what is up everyone? This is Dynamite here. Welcome back to some more Pokemon Renegade Platinum. In the last episode, we went through the whole hotel resort place um, and we had some battles at the restaurant. But most importantly, we had an evolution in the form of Watson. Pretty much the last evolution of our team. And now pretty much our team is uh, complete. We have an electric fighting type. Electivire, which is pretty damn nice, and uh, his special attack is actually still not bad. Um, I think it's mostly because we do have a mild nature, um, so yeah, my defense is gonna be low, but my special attack is still gonna be decent. So I can run a Thunderbolt, I can run Psychic if I want to. Um, I don't know, I it's, it's problematic what I want to, right now. Like, I want to give it Psychic, but I don't want to give it Psychic. Because what is Psychic really going to do to me? Like, it's going to hit Poison types and it's going to hit uh, Fighting types, but... I think, if, uh, you know, just doing a Thunder Punch or a Drain Punch is going to be better. I don't know. But for now, we're going to go over here to Pistoria City. Besides, we already have, like, a Psychic move on, on Blaine as well, so... Uh, but yeah, anyways, we're going to go to Pistoria City here, and I don't know why I'm going through my items. But we are going through... Pistoria City and see what is up here and we're gonna heal up our Pokemon of course um, because they did take a little bit of a beating now uh, I did say in the last episode that we were probably going to be doing the gym but um, once again I lie uh, I lied because I don't think we're gonna go into the gym uh, just yet um, oh god he's gonna have a battle I should have healed up first um, we're not gonna have a gym battle just yet, as there is another route actually uh, close by that I want to go through first. And obviously I want to uh, check out the Great Marsh and see what we can do there right now and obviously gotta explore the rest of Astoria City. And then obviously in the next episode, we'll probably have a gym battle against Crusher Wake. And wow, this dude really is a clown with the Pokemon he had. He had some very easy Pokemon to take out. And of course, he's got to use Light Screen, so he's probably gonna actually survive the Splash Cannon this time. But yeah! We are getting closer and closer to, you know, obviously completing this game. I mean, it makes sense. Every episode you do, you get closer to the end. But, I mean, we're not, we're not really that close just yet, to be honest. We are... Uh, only have way, really, because we've got four badges, so we've got four to go. Um, so, we're pretty much halfway right now. Um, which means it's still a lot of fun to be had. Still lots of uh, episodes, so. Yeah, that's, that's great. Alright. Well, these guys are talking about the Great Marsh. Really nothing too interesting. Let's go ahead and heal up our Pokemon. And I really think, uh, obviously, Venusaur and... Electifier are going to be very, very useful in the upcoming gym. Um, Flygon can be really useful, and I think Apollyon can be pretty useful too, because uh, they obviously resist water. Um, Blaine, not as much. The Flotion is not going to be that useful, sadly. Um, and... Yeah. So, the gym leader is away. Crash or Wake is on Route 212. So, we have to go through the route first, like I said. Um, we don't even have the choice of doing the gym right now. We actually have to go over there. Um, and that's, I think, also a new thing in this game. I don't think uh, um, that was in the original Platinum. Uh, this uh, girl wants to give me a Lapras, but I don't have the space for it. Nor did I really want to use it right now. I already have both a Water and an Ice type. Uh, so, no thanks. Alright, over here, this is a pretty important house. Here where I'm standing, I'm smacked up in the middle of the town. Cool. Uh, I believe, I think it's this house, at least. Yes, the move maniac. He's gonna... Uh, remember us some moves. I think. Or is it just, just a move tutor? I think it's the move relearner. I could be wrong, though. Let's see what Watson can learn out of an Electivire. Um, ooh, like he gets Fire Punch, Ice Punch, that's pretty nice. Um, obviously Cross Chop. Um, I think either Fire Punch or Ice Punch would be pretty nice to have. 
definitely want to keep Earthquake. Let's go for Ice Punch. I don't really want to give Hammer Arm because it'll lower my speed. Uh, yeah, let's actually get rid of Thunderbolt. We are obviously using a Choice Band, so I feel like this will be a lot better. Alright, nice. Let's see if anyone else can learn anything good. So, let's, uh, let's check Duffle out. Let's kind of check the rest as well. Feather Dance. That's interesting. Let's see. Maybe as Teflotion can learn, like, Earth Power or something? No, but he can learn Fire Punch and Thunder Punch. Oh, wait. Yeah, he can learn Earth Power. Alright. I will definitely learn that. It was actually a joke, but I will take it. Now, he can also learn Thunder Punch, which can be very useful as well. Kind of tempted of getting rid of Will-O-Wisp for it. So we don't actually need a hard skill, which is pretty nice. Makes life a lot easier. But it's pretty much just like uh, Gen 8, where you don't need it either. Let's go ahead and learn Thunder Punch. If we want to uh, get Will-O-Wisp back at some point, we can always uh, do that. But Thunder Punch is good coverage, right? Alright, so our Teflotion actually looking really nice. Now, Mel Blade might actually be a little bit useful in the upcoming gym. Um, oh, Dragon Dance. Well, I'm not a physical attacker, so... It's not really that great. I would learn a Dragon Dance if I was more of a physical attacker. I mean, I could turn it into a physical attacker, but... Uh, like, I'm, I'm partially kind of thinking about it, honestly. So we do have... A lot of special attackers, I'm, I'm kind of thinking about it. Oh my gosh, even Phenosaur can learn Earth Power. He can also learn Power Whip, which is kind of crazy. Um, I kind of do want Earth Power. Um, yeah, Earth Power is going to be really, really good. I just have to think, like, am I going to get rid of Growth or Sleep Power? I don't know how much growth actually boosts in this game. Because if it's only like one stage, it's not really that worth it. No, let's get rid of growth. I, I don't know how many stages it boosts in this one, so I just want to get Earth Power instead. I feel like that'll be better. Alright, hold on. Let me, let me check really quick. What's your physical attack compared to your special attack? Yeah, special attack is definitely better. I, li I like flying on as a special attacker, though. I don't know. I will keep it for now. Maybe we'll... Ch Maybe we'll change it later. Now, Flygon does... I think I've said this before, but Flygon also does get compound dice in this game. He, uh, Flygon also gets compound dice in this game, which um, is really good if you're going to pair it up with Dragon uh, Rush. Dragon Rush. So... It's a mean looking fish. I don't have a mean looking fish. I don't have a Gyarados. I think that's what you're looking for. Alright, well, I don't think there's really anything great here. We can go to the Pokemon. I don't think we really need anything from the Pokemon. Alright. We got a Pasho Berry. So we, every day this woman will give us a berry. I probably won't remember that, so. Probably the only time I will come here. Is there really nothing here? Bro, why is this spot here? Oh, there we go. We got a zinc. Give it to Duffel. Why not? Alright, well, let's check out the Great Marsh real quick. Really quick, see if we can actually do something there. Yet. I mean, we can go in this building, at least. That's for sure. I play swear, we just try my game at the same time. The rule, yep, there's only one rule, simple. All you have to do is capture five or more Pokemon in a Safari game. If you can do that, I'll give you a fancy technical machine. Ooh. A technical machine. That sounds interesting. We might actually have to do that then. I'm actually kind of uh, interested to in seeing what kind of Pokemon you can find here. Okay, Marsh, Safari game, only 500. Yes. Let's go ahead and try it. Okay, so we need to catch five Pokemon. Quick, quick, out of the six, and here we go. We're quick. If you're thinking about going deep into the marsh, I reckon you take the Great Marsh Quick Trams. Alright. Oh, 
Nice free shard. Now, I don't know what the shards really exactly do in this game because you don't actually need shards for the move tutors. Hey, we got a shroom is here. Um, you don't actually need shards anymore. It's just pretty much free to um, get everything. So yeah, we're just gonna just gonna catch all the shroomish here. Well, maybe not all the shroomish, but we're gonna catch just five Pokemon, five random Pokemon, just to get this technical machine really, and that's that's really about it. Can I stop getting stuck? Stuck everywhere, dude. Alright, what do we have? We have a Swallow. That's probably gonna have a low catch rate, but we'll try. We'll try anyways. Oh. There we go. Oh. Wasn't so bad. A Swallow. Definitely some interesting Pokemon here. I probably should have taken a train or something. Oh, we actually have items laying around here. We have more shards. So... Oh, I, I see. The black spots actually are the ones that uh, make you sink in. Didn't really realize that at first. We got a Pokeball, I think, down here. Alright, what's Pokemon number three gonna be? It's a Parasect! Ooh! Parasect, I'm pretty sure actually got buffed in this game as well, so... That's neat. But we already have a much better bug type, so... I will catch it just... Because I need to catch more Pokemon... For that technical machine. Hopefully it's a good technical machine, because... I would be wasting my time here, spending doing this. Alright, come on Parasect. Get in the ball. Nope. Still watching carefully. Not leaving. One, two, three, and there we go. Got it. We got a Parasect. I think maybe at some point I do want to actually complete the Pokedex. It's gonna take a long time, but I mean, I love this game, so why not do it, right? Obviously, probably won't do it in an episode, but I'll probably do it off screen. Maybe I will record and do it like a big speedy montage. See, I don't know if I need to find five different Pokemon, so I'm gonna just gonna run away from this one. Ooh, a Toxic Rogue! Damn, that's pretty nifty. Let's see if we can get it. Now, obviously, I won't be able to use it. Or, well, I, I could use it if I want to, but I don't want to. Because I already have a poison type and I already have a fighting type. But I will catch it nonetheless. If it stays in the ball, that is. Come on, Toxic Rogue. Oh, it fled. Oh, well. Maybe we'll get to find it again at some point. God damn it, I got stuck. I want to see if there's any items here. No! What's this? Oh, Scroopy! pretty nifty. Let's catch it. It's a dark poison type. Well, actually, it's a bug poison type here. It's not a dark type yet. It doesn't become dark type until you get to uh, Drapion. Oh! See, that's a good TM. Oh, wait a second. We definitely will need to explore this place thoroughly. I didn't actually do this in my first playthrough of the game. Um, but I will definitely do it here. Because holy daily damn, sludge bomb. Wait, are, what does this count as area 2? Area 2 counts as the last one? I'm confused. It's weird. Pokemon are different each day, that's interesting to note. Oh, it's a Bibarel. It's a uh, HM Slave. Actually, Bibarel got buffed as well in this game, so... It's obviously not going to be as bad as it used to be. Alright, come on, stay in the ball, Bibarel. 
the barrel. How do you guys say that name? I always say Bibarel. But I know someone, uh, some people say Bibarel. 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 Barrel Bibble. Bibble Barrel. What am I saying? Anyway, we caught it. The beaver Pokemon. Normal water. Not bad. Let's see what this item is. But let's see first what this Pokemon is. Oh, a Tropius. I, I'm pretty sure this has a pretty low catch rate as well. But we'll see what we can do here. One. Two. Three. Ah, oh, almost. Almost first ball. All we can do is just throw balls and hope for the best. A1. A2. A3. There we go. Not too shabby at all. Shopee's data was added. It's a fruit Pokemon. I think we've got five now, right? But we might as well just... I don't know. Continue on because we obviously still need to grab the items and whatnot. Like this one right here. It's a yellow shard. We're getting a lot of shards here. Was this the main way to get shards in this game? Oh, that's not an item right there. A shed shell? What does that do again? I forgot what the shed shell does. A tough discarded carapace to be held by a Pokemon. It enables the holder to switch with a waiting Pokemon in battle. Interesting. So even if you like get trapped, you can still switch out with it. Oh, it's a Quagsire. All right, let's see if we can get this one. I appreciate Quagsire was a Pokemon you could uh, get here beforehand. I don't know if you actually changed the Pokemon that you can get here, but hopefully we can get this Quagsire right here because I think I don't know. We we might already have five Pokemon, but I know for sure once we get this, we definitely have five Pokemon or four than five. So please, Quagsire, stay in the ball. Man, what is, what is your catch rate? Still watching, though. Does not want to stay in the ball, I guess. That's all right. Oh, well, and the time is up. Whoop. So how many Pokemon did you catch in your trial game? At least five? Ah, uh, yup, you've done that all right. Isn't that something? Well, here you go, then. Technical Machine Containing Protect. Uh, I don't know how to feel that one, about that one. Like... Protect is good in doubles. I guess it's good to have for that. But other than that, it's not really that great. All right, it's time to get Crusher Weight back to the gym. So let's go ahead and get into this route and uh, see what awaits us here. Route 2012. Kind of know how these things work now. We just avoid the black spot. Do I? Ha I have the dowsing machine, don't I? This is probably an item here somewhere. I just don't know where. Oh, there we go. A Dawnstone bad. Not bad at all. That we don't really need it, per se. Alright, so we can bike across here. And that will lead us over here where we can't get that item. We can get that item, though. That's for sure. A Hyper Potion. Alright, let's go battle this guy. Let's get some action going. The scientist, see what he got. Let's see what you got, scientist. I've got the rain on my side here to get away my Empoleon. Oh, but you have an electric type. That's not good. That's not good at all. You know what? This might be a bad idea, but let's go ahead and go for this call. Ooh, he used the next special. Well, that gives me a free turn to go ahead and scald it. It's actually a good thing I didn't switch out then. Or else he would have had a free turn to set up. There we go. Easy peasy. All right, let's see what else you've got. An electrode. Okay, I will definitely switch out here. Um, you know what? Let's go to my own electric type. Let's go Watson. Because I have motor drive, so I'm immune to electricity. All right. Let's go ahead and go for that earthquake. Oh. Or not. And I'm Choice Bandit. That sucks. Uh, let's go into Tony. What a play. What a play from this Electrode. And now he's using Light Screen as well. Damn. Discharge. 
That did nothing. But of course he paralyzes me. Wait, I use... I'm so dumb! Oh, I'm so dumb. Alright, you know, I'm going back in there, Watson. But I'm so dumb. Why did I go for Earth Power when he uses Magnetize? I'm so dumb. But hey, look at that. That's smart, at least. And now I outspeed him. I can go for a Drain Punch. And do a lot of damage. Not going for Earthquake this time. I'm not being an idiot this time. Oh my god, that's a one shot. Damn. My little choice man, a Drain Punch. Alright. And now I have a Speed Boost as well, so. That's great. Oh, and here comes a Porygon 2. Here we go, guys. Let's go for the Drain Punch. This will definitely be a one shot. I cannot see this not being a one shot. Choice Bandit, Stab, super effective. Yeah, get out of here. Get out of here. Watson looking real strong. That was pretty dumb of me, though, still. <laughs> I can't believe I did that. All right, let's go ahead and grab this item. We actually have to go here. It's a Revivi. Yes, a Revivi. Alright, let's go ahead and heal that Paralysis from Flygon. Use a full heal. And let's see what the next trainer has in store for us. Can you keep up with me? Well, let's see if I can keep up with you. I really want to know where to get Ice Beam. Don't you, do you get Ice Beam at Canis' gym? At the Snowboard gym? At the Ice gym? That's probably where you get it, so... I'm probably still stuck with Ice Wind for a while. Unless Duffel wants to learn Ice Beam. Um, you know, on its own. I mean, Ice Wind ain't bad, it lowers speed, but... Definitely isn't as good as Ice Beam. I mean, at least we have a price with Ice Beam, right? I mean, a lot of things outspeed Duffel Wind. Having Icy Wind and being able to lower their speed with it is still pretty decent. Icy Wind definitely gets slept on. It's definitely not that bad. Alright, here comes Electabuzz. Now, I think Electabuzz is actually faster than Electivire, but I am levels higher, so I feel like I will actually be able to outspeed here. Or maybe not. Well, let's hope I can take this crush up decently well. I actually took that pretty decently. Considering I do have a minus defense nature. Alright, get out of here, like the buzz. See you later. Game to level 44. Oh, Watson is gonna be so damn good in the upcoming gym. Just choice ban, thunder punching everything. It's gonna be great. It's gonna be fantastic. Alright, um, what was that coming out? I think that was a Cacleon. Let's go into Duffel. Back into Duffel to make use of that rain. You know, gotta boost that skull power. Oh god, fake out. Why? Why you do this? Call them up. Uh, if it doesn't KO, hopefully we get a burn, but it should KO, right? Or maybe not. Wow, Cackley on you, bulky. But I burnt you. Definitely burnt you. Probably buffed up Cackley on as well. Sadly, still won't get uh, protein, but. Yeah. Actually, kind of curious what they did to Cackleon. Okay, surprisingly, they didn't really do much with Cackleon. All they did was just give it a little bit more attack. Instead of having 90 base attack, it has 100 base attack, so... That's kind of surprising. It really is. But hey, there we go! We get... Toxic. Not bad. Not bad at all. Okay, so we can't use the bike here. Or else we can't go through the mud. 
right, she seems to be struggling a bit. Alright, well, let's just get through this. Just a grimer. Nothing too important. Now, Lexer, though. We'll definitely grab that. Alright. Oh, we got another trainer here. I forgot this chick's battle shoot. Well, let's do it. Sidra. Alright. I feel like Scald will still do more than Grass Knot. Let's see how much Scald will do. Still gonna do a lot in Rain. Look at that. Look at that! Whew. Yeah, Grass God probably wouldn't have done that much because Cedra is not really. doesn't really weigh that much. I wants to learn Yawn. No. No. I don't, I don't want Yawn. I already have Sleep Powder on Venusaur, so I don't really need it. But speaking of Venusaur, let's go into Venusaur. To deal with these water types. Golduck. Alright, take this energy ball. Oh, it has Psychic. Down. Wait, is Golduck actually a Psychic type in this game? It is actually a Psychic type in this game. Wow. Alright. Yeah, they made uh, Golduck a water Psychic type. Interesting. And apparently it learns Power Gym now. That seemed to be the differences for him. That's pretty cool. I'm not gonna lie. Alright, so here we got three dudes and a young lady. Totally not suspicious at all. Anyway, this guy is gonna be able to teach us some moves. All of them, actually. Let's see if there's anything useful. I can give it Signal Beam. Signal Beam ain't bad, but I think I'll keep what I have right now. I'm just gonna see if anyone uh, can learn any good move. Probably not. Okay, this dude on the right is pretty useless. Let's see what the dude in the middle can give to the rest of my Pokemon. Oh, all right. Um, Fire Punch and Thunder Punch. An ominous wind on Flygon. Damn. Uh, that's not terrible, but I don't think I really want it. So I can give Heat Wave to Deflotion through this guy, which I don't know if I like more than Flamethrower because Heatwave, I think, has a chance to miss, but Heatwave does hit both opponents and then is a little bit stronger than Flamethrower. But I don't like missing, so I think I'm gonna keep Flamethrower. Yeah, that, that, that base 5 power is not really worth it. Excuse me? Hurricane? So Flygon can learn Hurricane and Heatwave? Oh man, I actually really want to give it Heat Wave, but it still has Fly. And I kind of need Fly to fly places, you know? Oh man. That's very, very tempting. I also can get Outrage, I could turn it into a physical attacker. Oh, such hard decisions to make. Alright, well, that's pretty much that. So, the only really good guy is on the guy on the left. That has some pretty good things. Um, also, I need to go back to get that item. Oh man, I kind of want to give Heat Wave to Flygon. Hurricane also is pretty decent though, but it's not really it's not really decent unless you have a Rain a team with Rain Dance, or if your uh, Flygon has Compound Eyes. Oh man, I just realized having Compound Eyes would actually not be bad if you had like Heat Wave with it and then have Hurricane and Draco Meteor, you're not gonna miss those moves. That's that's insane. Though obviously you won't have Levitate, but I don't think that's really needed. All right, we got a Cast Form, which transformed. I don't think this Grass Knot is gonna do much. I probably should should use it. Go uh, Scald again. So yeah, uh, it's 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 really tough because I need Fly obviously to move places. I mean, I could just put a Pokemon, or have a Pokemon in a box, learn fly, flying type, and then just whenever I need to fly, I could just take it out of the box. 
and have it that way. That's definitely an idea. Because I feel like Heat Wave would be really, really good for it. Alright, let's grab that. Uh, what was that? Another Zinc? Another one? Well, I guess I'll give that to Duffel again. We'll make him a special defensive monster. Alright, we got some fishermen over here. Let's go ahead and switch my lower front, considering we're gonna have a lot of water types here. I think that is a pretty nifty idea. Okay. Since I don't have compound eyes, though, I will definitely not learn it, uh, Hurricane. I'm also still kind of thinking about making it a physical attacker, considering we do need some physical attackers. Like, it's not a bad idea, compare, uh, like, um, pairing it up with Dragon Dance. You know, Dragon Dance, either Outrage or Dragon Claw. And then, like, having. Does it even learn? I don't think it learns a good physical stab, bug type move. You would probably have to use something like uh, Earthquake, and then, like, Fire Punch or Thunder Punch or something like that. I feel like it's just gonna be better as a special attacker. Honestly, Fly God is just kind of like a bug Hydreigon in this game. That's basically what it comes down to. Because it's a special attacking monster and has sex to like so many good moves. So we should probably just keep it as a special attacker. And I think eventually I will do... Because um, I, don't, I don't think we're going to need Fly All too much, right? Except until... Yeah, like there is one point where you do need it. But we can, we can swap some Pokemon around in our teams. It really isn't a huge problem. It just means that every time we have to go to Pokemon Center and swap them around, which isn't too bad, but... Yeah, I definitely think that um, in between episodes, I will go to the move deleter, get rid of Fly on Flygon, give something else Fly, and get Heat Wave on Flygon, because that's going to be really, really good on it. Yeah, I'm definitely liking Energy Ball on Milo, because I'm not stuck into Petal Dance every single time, and it does more damage than Energy, or it does more damage than Giga Drain. So I think Genji Ball is fine right here. It just doesn't have as much PP, which... That's alright. We don't need that much. We could always use some PP ups when we get them. Alright. And that's that. There's one more fisherman here. Let's see what he got. I feel like this guy has a Gyarados. I remember this guy having a Gyarados. I don't know if he has one in this game, though. That's not a Gyarados. <laughs> That's a Barboach. Alright. Does that mean he's gonna have a Wish Cast as well? I don't know. Let's go for Energy Ball. It's a perfect matchup for me. Might be a slightly longer episode, just because I want to get Crash Awake to the gym so that we can battle him in the next episode. Okay, so he's a Quailfish, so this is kind of unexpected. Let's go into Watson then, I guess. And let's time to punch it up. Oh god, at the end of the day, I forgot about that. Shouldn't matter though. I think it's still gonna knock you out. Oh yeah. Easy peasy. Alright, where is Watson? Or not Watson. Where's Crash Awake? Where are you, sir? Yes, I know we can zip across. Give me this item. It's Bug Buzz! Now we already have Bug Buzz on Flygon, so I feel like this is not gonna... 
be much of use considering I think we already I don't think anyone else can learn bug buzz but uh yeah okay so Tony could learn it but all right it already has it so don't need to teach it to him yeah, I don't think we'll be using Blaine for a while because it's raining in this area and the gym can't really do much either I mean, we can Thunder Punch, I guess. But why would we do that with... Deflotion? I mean, our attack side is not really that great. We have an Electivire with Thunder Punch, so... I don't think it's really needed. Man, Umbreon, you're so bulky. Though I do have a Miracle Seed, so Energy Bubble should do more. Right? Right? Oh, I did a little bit more, but not quite enough. I should have just used Energy Ball twice. And now it's using Moonlight, but that's going to heal less, considering the rain is up. That's kind of unfortunate for you. Yeah, that's going to heal you like nothing. It's too bad for you. Alright, Sludge Bomb it up. Goodbye. See you later. Alright. What's next? Gonna have SP on as well. <laughs> okay, you do. You do have SP on. Um, let's go into my own evolution. Let's have a nice little evolution battle. I wonder what its last going to be. If it has SP on, if it has Umbreon, like what are you gonna have last? Another evolution or something completely different? Oh, that actually didn't take it out. Oh, I'm dead. Goodbye. My special defense sucks, so I'm not living this. Even though I'm like six levels higher, I'm not living this. Or maybe I am. Okay. I take it back. I'm sorry. I'm sorry I doubted you, Price. I'm very sorry. Man, I would have loved to use an Espeon as well. Maybe I should replace you, Price, for Espeon. I won't do that. I won't do that. Even though Espeon still is my favorite ev evolution, I love all the buffs that you got to price, so I definitely want to use you. Oh, so you do have Glacian as well. Well, I'm not going to win this when I'm this low health. You know what? Screw the rain. I don't care. I'm going to go into Blaine anyway. Because I have the adaptability. I have the charcoal. I don't care. But yeah, Espeon, I, I definitely... I've always said that should get Aura Sphere. It just looks like a Pokemon that, I don't know, should learn it. This Pokemon just needs something for Steel types. It has really no way of hitting Steel types. Like, the best it has, like, Shadow Ball. Oh, I feel like I have to go back there just to get that item. Oh, boy. Ah, I see what I need to do. I have to go all the way over here and then do this, right? Yeah, there we go. Poison Jab. I'm actually kind of curious if anyone can learn that. I don't think I'm going to want to give it to anyone, though. I think... Oh, I was going to say, I think Watson might be able to learn it, but even Watson can't learn it. Nobody can learn it. That's unfortunate. Okay, there we go. Okay, Wake, where are you? Probably all the way at the end. Alright, just Earth Power that Atkins with Milo, and that will give us a nice level 45. Do I learn any new moves though? Let's see. Let's learn Double Edge. No. No, Milo, you do not want to learn Double Edge. You're lying. Alright, we have we have more Pokemon over here. Um Let's go into Duffel uh, up front. I mean Make use of the rain, and he's like very healthy compared to the rest. I don't want to heal up for taking on the next double battle, though. That is going to be in a little bit. Also, yeah, it's going to probably be a longer episode. I'm probably going to cut some stuff out from the Great Marsh. Uh, I'll probably make it a little bit shorter, but yeah. I mean, you guys don't really care about if it's a little bit of a longer episode, right? Get more content into one video. It's great. 
And really, I won't blame you if you use the speed up button on YouTube, you know? Watch it in 1.25 times speed. I sometimes do that, honestly, because, you know, I just don't really have the time to watch videos, but I do want to watch the videos, so it doesn't really matter to me. I can't watch it in 1.5 speed though, that just annoys the crap out of me. Also, I just noticed the cursor is on, my scre on the screen, I'm sorry. I apologize. There's probably a way to not have that cursor show up. I should probably mess around in the settings in OBS and see if I can get rid of that. Happened in the very earlier parts as well. It's because I looked up a lot of stuff in the documentation and then I accidentally leave the mouse cursor on screen. And it's probably been a while on the screen there, but I'm sorry. I don't mean to. It does not on purpose. I promise. It'll be kind of a weird thing to do on, pro on purpose, to be honest. Like, I don't really think it's gonna annoy someone that much if it just is a cursor on screen. Maybe. Maybe it is. No. I don't know. Okay, we do need some more healing items, actually. But, I think that'll do for now. Okay, who are we gonna... Who are we gonna pair up? I don't think we're gonna pair up Blaine, because I don't want to deal with the rain. I think... Let's go with uh, Price and Duffel. Alright. Well, getting interrupted. Grimer. Alright, let's finish this off with a double battle. And then I think... Pressure Rake should be at the end right here, right? I could be wrong. But I don't know where else he would really be. Oh man, they have... Oh, it's worth to deal with six Pokemon, jeez. And there's a Melodic on the screen, which is kind of problematic. Um... Yeah, I think what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna scald the Magmar and I'm gonna... Switch out... I mean, then again... Well, I could switch out, but his fire type moves are weakened. So I kind of want to stay in and go for... Something else, but... Now, let's go to... Let's go to Tony here, I think. And actually... Let's go into Watson. Because Watson can deal with Milotic. I was actually debating on having Watson up front instead of... Uh, Oh! Well then. I should have just actually switched in Blaine. Is he still gonna KO though? No. Okay, that's not good. That's not good at all. Because that Magmar outspeeds me now and is going to absolutely obliterate me. Hopefully Watson can outspeed here and I can... Thunder Punch and Magmar. Ah, oh, there we go. Nice. Get that out of the way. That's a threat within the sun. Melodic, not really so much now that it's uh, raining. Or that, now that the sun is up. Alright, I'm still in love. Let's see if I can get through. Yes! Take the grass knot. That should do a lot of damage. Or yes, there we go. That's nice damage. That is certainly nice. Alright, let's see what is next. Manectric. Damn it, I can't use Thunder Punch. It's Lightning Rod. God, this is terrible. Hmm. I'm gonna take an electric tap to my face with Duffel. It's kind of annoying. It's going to Milo here. Uh, I, I could hope that it might have static. Let's see. Let's see what it has. I'm gonna go to Milo here. Oh, it went for Fire Fang. Damn. Okay. Doesn't seem like it has a Lightning Rod. That was actually kind of scary. Because that Fire... I mean, Fire Fang in the sun. Yeah, that's kind of scary. Even though Manectric is more of a special attacker. Jinx. I'll try Earth Power and Thunder Punch on the Jinx. 
yeah, let's let's do that. Oh, you missed Fire Fang again. Wow. Okay, that is some bad luck on his part. Very lucky on my part. Oh my god, that Thunder Punch is way too strong. Holy moly! All right, Earth Power. That should finish off the main electric, right? Hopefully, maybe, possibly. Yes, there we go. Goodbye, Manectric. Sunlight is strong. I don't have chlorophyll. Actually, Fire Frame probably wouldn't have done that much, to be honest, because I do have Thick Fat. I keep forgetting I have Thick Fat. Oh, this is not good for my... Watson. Let's actually switch out here. Um... Let's go into Tony. I'm expecting a ground type move. Yeah, predicted, boy. Oh, what? Excuse me? Leave y'all get Psycho Cut. Oh, boy. That is interesting. Still didn't do that much, though, so we're fine. We're okay. Take this sludge bomb to the face. Look at that, it's beautiful. Sunlight faded. All right, I know we're just gonna double earth power it up. You can't earth power me, but I can earth power you. A slide forward boosted, you're not leaving that. Goodbye. Beautiful. Tony is so strong, dude. So damn strong. Right, Crash Awake, where are you? There he is! The ring is my rolling sea, the towering wave shaped me. Crash, crash, crash awake, crash, crash, crash awake. I'm the tidal wave of power to wash you away. Put out the fire, crash awake. Run from electricity, crash awake. Ha ha ha, the ring is my sea. Hey, you're the trainer I met over in Filson City, aren't you? The nature out here is spectacular, wouldn't you say? Sometimes it's good to relax and enjoy the scenery. It's also a perfect opportunity to practice your singing, ha! Oh, so you've gotten the cobble badge? That means you must have beaten Maylene, in that case I'm the next stop on your journey, ha 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 ha! I should be getting back to my gym, I'll see you there! Why are you go- Why are you going that way? You should- You should be going that way, that's a lot shorter. Alright, and this is uh, a familiar route we've seen before. Alright, and with that, I think I'm going to end off the episode here, where I'm going to be flying back to Pistoria City. And in the next episode, we're going to be taking on the Pistoria City Gym, and taking on the Karasha Wake. So hopefully you guys have enjoyed for now. I will see you guys then. Thanks for watching.